we sent 300 emails and booked four meetings with this system. So let's talk about cold email for a little bit. So in this video, I want to show you the exact tech stack that we use at Proxy, my agency, to essentially send out a ton of really good cold emails for extremely cheap. Now, in this video, I'm going to cover scraping the leads that you need to send the emails to. I'm going to show you the software we use to actually send these emails. And I'm going to show you an automation that makes this process just a ton easier. I'm going to show you an extremely good tech stack in this video, and you're going to learn a lot about good cold email. So let's jump right into it. So I just want to start this video by saying that cold email in 2024, moving into 2025, is still so incredibly effective for any business that needs to generate leads and get eyeballs on their product or service to sell their thing. Not all businesses, very few, can rely just strictly from referrals. And if you are doing referrals as your strict lead generation source, you could be 10xing that with some sort of outbound strategy. So just on the premise alone that it's generating hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month for businesses around the world, it's probably wise to put a little bit of effort and energy into our cold email strategy and system. So in this video, as I explained in the intro, I want to show you an extremely effective cold email system. It's going to be the full tech stack plus automations that will help you absolutely crush it for an extremely reasonable price. So this was us at the start of our cold email campaigns. We initially got into it with Instantly and we're using very expensive softwares to send these emails. And don't get me wrong, they did provide results for us. However, with these tools and the big price tags attached to them, you expect a lot if you're paying $300 a month for a system. And when it doesn't necessarily live up to your expectations, it can be a little bit disappointing. So I know a lot of people love Instantly and, on, and Instantly is great. Like if you have like 50 to 100 emails on there and they're firing for you, keep going with Instantly. I, I'm not, I don't not like Instantly. It's a great software. But for our hyper targeted email campaigns that we're experimenting with, it just wasn't really working for us. So you have these kind of outreach services over here, but the transition, the gap that we made as an agency was over to mail merge systems. So the switch that we made over to mail merges was a complete game changer. Now, what a mail merge is, is it's essentially just a system that has some sort of data source, like in this case, a Google Sheet, and it can use the Google Sheets columns to put personalized emails together and individually send them to each recipient. So you don't have to BCC people, you don't have to CC people. It's essentially just a mass email system, but it's integrated in this case directly into our Gmail. And it's like native to Gmail. The one we're using right now that is the main one I want to highlight in this video because this video is kind of based on the premise of like cost effectiveness and a cheap system that crushes. So Mergo Mail Merge for Gmail is unreal. It's so good. It is a dollar fifty a month US for an at Gmail mailbox, so a not business email, and it is so that comes out to twenty five Canadian a year for one mailbox. So four mailboxes, four systems set up for each email is only a hundred dollars Canadian a year, and their limit is five hundred a day to send out per each email. Now, obviously you don't want to send out 500 a day. You're going to get flagged and you're going to get marked as spam. And you're going to get shut down pretty quick. So we're sending out about hundred a day and it's working great for us right now. So these mail merge systems are ones that don't get talked about because they aren't sexy. Like they don't have a beautiful UI. They don't have a nice dashboard where you get like a little bit of dopamine and you get more colors and it's fun. Mail merge is just like, some bloke made it in like the 90s, but it just works. Like it just works. And it's essentially what all of these are under the hood a little bit. You can kind of think of, of it like that. So the system that we're using is Mergo to, to send our emails. So now let's hop into the tech stack piece of this, which is probably the most interesting part of the video. So what we do first is we use this incredible software called Mails AI. Wish I knew about this months ago, but better late than never, as they say. So what Mails AI is, it's very similar to Instantly. It's a cold email platform, but 
they have a completely free email warm up feature. So you can just go ahead, go to Google, make a free Gmail account, and then it's extremely easy and you can add it to Mails AI and it works the exact same as instantly. So it sends AI generated emails to your inbox and then it will reply to a portion of those to simulate a conversation. So Gmail servers look at that and go thumbs up, cool, this mailbox is actually responding and they're active and they aren't pumping out a ton of emails right away. So make your emails, add them to Mails AI's warm up feature. You have to go into the back end and like enable two factor authentication, then create an app password and then give them the app password. It's super easy to do. So Mails AI is free. So that's zero cost. So hop in there, add some emails. That's the first step. You want to let them warm up for two to three weeks. I would recommend three weeks, 21 days. Longer is better because it gives Gmail more time to just be like, okay, like this, this guy's chill. Then the next step is we go to Apollo. Apollo's a B2B database of like uh, 250 million contacts. So it's absurd. Just make a free account on Apollo. If we go up to the prospects and enrich section, click on people. We have all of these filters you can add. So I've done email status verified, job title, CEO, C-suite, owner, founder, location, US. Then in the keyword section, you can just include like plumbing in this case, just as an example. And we have 2.6K net new contacts here. So we're going to come back to this and I'm going to show you what we do from here, but that's how you use Apollo extremely fast overrun overview there. But so incredible database, this is where we get most of our leads from. So Apollo is our lead database. Next, we move on to Appify. Now Appify is 49 us a month. It's the priciest portion of this because it's ongoing monthly. And that's like, it's like 68 Canadian a month. So Appify, you can scrape platforms that aren't intended to be scraped. Um, so it's really powerful. It's like a sneaky backdoor past a lot of really expensive month to month plans with all these softwares. You can scrape LinkedIn, Apollo. It's beautiful. So go check out my other videos on Appify, a little shameless plug. If you want to learn more about scraping and setting up a make system that can automate that process. There's tons of other uh, like good YouTube videos from great creators out there as well. So just explore and go find those. So Appify is where we scrape our leads. And then from Appify, you get like, or at least from the Apollo scrape specifically from Appify, you get a shit ton of data, like way too much data. So you just have to clean it up a little bit, which you just go through the columns and like delete the ones that you don't want essentially. And then from there, we have this software called brand nav, which has an email verifier. So there's like a million of email verifiers out there and they're very cheap. We paid a $50 one-time fee and we have like lifetime access to brand nav. We got it through AppSumo and we're finding it's working pretty good for our needs. At least it's verifying at least like 98% of the emails that go through and f uh, filtering out the bad ones that will bounce because when emails bounce, they ruin your deliverability and your trust score. So you really need to make sure that you're cleaning your email lists to filter out the emails that are no longer in use or out of service or just bad emails. Because if they bounce, if you send like 10 bounced emails in a row, Google is going to be like, Hey, wait a minute here. So find yourself an email verifier after we scrape the leads, toss them into here, brand nav, scrape them or sorry, verify them. Then we go to Mergo mail merge. So it's a dollar 50 a month for the free, for like the non workspace plans. And it's 25 Canadian a year to send 500 emails a day, every single day. And you just pay a one-time fee, $25. It's absurd. Then after we verify the emails on brand nav, toss them into mail merge, then campaign results, go back to the drawing board, scrape new leads and the process restarts. So this is my really nice looking little cost breakdown. So for us, $50 one-time fee for the verifier brand nav plus $25 a year for what's it called? Mergo times X and X is between one and 10 in this case. So of course the $68 is for Appify and that's monthly. However, if you look here, it's just extremely reasonable. So the only ongoing fee is going to be 68. And if you have 10 mailboxes and you pay this and you do this all in one month and you buy 10 mailboxes, it's only 368 for one month. And then that goes down drastically to only 6876 a month to scrape thousands of leads. It's ridiculous. It's by far the most economical plan. 
and it just works. Like we've been getting like 50% plus open rates with all of our campaigns through Mergo and it's amazing. Like couldn't be happier with it. And now let's move on to a list. So I don't have the sheet from Appify that um, is like pre-scraped data because we could just clean them right away. But this is what it'll look like once you scrape. You'll get first name, last name, email, phone, LinkedIn, uh, headline, country, city, seniority. There's a ton more. These are just the ones that we find valuable that we need. Organization website, photo URL, email status, and then just all these kind of things. So um, in this scrape, we got 155 and pretty good scrape. So this is kind of what like a clean email list looks like. So if we go back to here and we go up to this step, clean scrape data. So this is like the sheet you just saw is this step right here. This is the clean data. And then a sheet that will actually, sorry, like this is the clean data here. And then a sheet that we actually used as a campaign is this sheet right here. So you can see between these two, we have first and last time email, you know, the standard stuff in here, but we only need a few columns for our Mergo or whatever you want. Like if you wanted, you could create a title or a, a column name called headline in here. You could change role to headline and then you could paste this entire column H in and then you can include that in your email. So now let me show you how to actually send the email. And you can actually include that in your email. So all of these variables up here, first name, last name, role, company name, can all be referenced dynamically in your email. And then you can see here, we have the merge status. So this is a campaign that's already ran. So sent, opened, 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 opened. Um, this is one that tomorrow we're gonna send the follow-ups to. So if I click on this Mergo tab on the right here, and then we go to um, mail merge up here at the top, we'll be able to see that the daily quota here. So I've sent like about a hundred today. And then we have to select a Gmail draft. So this is the first step in actually initializing and sending a campaign. So if we go on over to Gmail right here, we go to sent, let's see all these sent emails here. Then if we go to drafts, so you can see, here's the drafts. So if we look at this copy right here, hey, first name, and then we reference first name with these double curly braces. And if we reference back to the sheet, it has to be exactly the same as this with like caps, underscores, everything. It needs to be identical. And then what we can do is we pull select a Gmail draft. So we have this one perhaps interesting. That's what our subject line is, line is here. So we know that that's the correct email to select. And then in our body, all we do is we just reference what we want to be included in the email. So role, company name. If we go back, role, company name, um, that's new copy. So I didn't actually put the role in, but you get the idea, company name. So it's going to be uh, personalized, like all good cold emails are, to the individual opening it. Now, this is an example of like what to do when you want to send a campaign. So write some copy, boom, toss in your variables. And then for the email column, you want to select whatever like the email columns called. It could be called not an email column and it'll still pop up and you just select it. Send your name, probably should just be your name. And then you can either send it as a reply. So if you're just shooting this off in an existing thread here. So if I did this, then these would not include a subject line and they would just send. And then obviously we track all of our bounces, responded, whatever, and then we can just hit send and it runs. Then also up here, you can schedule delivery. So you can just, you know, get a little crazy with this, do whatever you want, schedule follow-ups. And that's the one thing where it falls a little bit short and GMAS is a little bit better than Mergo because I think there's more advanced scheduling capabilities, but this is like really nice to have. So now you get a sense of the sheet, you get a sense of the process in sending these cold email campaigns. Now let's move back to our board here. So you can see the costs, extremely reasonable. I'll give you a second to look at that. 25 times X or 25 times 10 mailboxes uh, plus all this. It's just super reasonable. Like per month, it's the cheapest tech stack I've personally found just from my experience only. So we have the mail merge here. Now so you can get a sense of what we're working with here. 1% reply rate down there, 30% opened. 
no, that was like a quick campaign. This was a test campaign. It was bad copy, but you get the idea. That's the interface right there. So then we can set up automations for this because again, we don't want to do this manually or at least the full thing manually. So what this one does right here, let's make sure I grab the right one. So we have the Google Sheets. Now let's move back to the Google Sheet. Let me show you what this looks like. So we have our Apollo URL here. So you remember when we were filtering all these leads in Apollo and we were looking at them? So you just copy and paste the URL, slap the URL right into here. And then this will automatically be grabbed by this Google Sheets Watch New Rows. It's gonna scrape the leads. So in our case, we have our URL to scrape. We want 100 total records, get personal emails, and we just completely scrape all the leads. We get the items, parse the JSON, add them to the Google Sheet, and then format the leads for Mergo. And by format leads for Mergo, I mean um, transform the leads into a sheet that looks exactly like this with the predefined fields that we want to capture and then save it as a new sheet, in this case, Mergo Warpath 1, with everything we need to actually initiate the campaign and start it up. So that is our first scenario, an example of an automation that we can use to streamline things. And then another one here is that we can watch the same rows, watch all of the rows that we have added to our um, to that Mergo sheet because we have their LinkedIn URL from Appify. Then we can run a separate actor right here, the LinkedIn premium actor. So it's going to scrape their LinkedIn, get their about section, get everything about them. It's going to parse the text, filter out exactly what we want. In this case, we're searching for their about section only so we can get some like personal data on them, insights, and use that in our cold email copy. We get GPT to format it in a way that works for us. And then we can update a row in our Mergo sheet with our body. So we could do like, hey, first name, and then reference the body in those two curly brackets in the email body. And then that will be our personalized LinkedIn scrape on that person. So on the surface level, it appears that we've done like, you know, 20 plus minutes at least, maybe 15 plus minutes on researching this person and putting effort into our connection and our relationship with them. And it sounds a little like, Machiavellian superficial to just scrape the leads and make it sound really personal and then send it off when in reality, like for a lot of these, you could care less who this person is, just the, just the raw truth of it. But it's something that just gets your foot in the door. And then when you hop on a call, similarly to how when I make these YouTube videos, you can hear my voice. I'm like, I'm like a person. I'm just here. I'm not like a bot. Um, you get your foot in the door and then you can actually like convey emotion on the call, right? First up, the cold email, just booking a call, not making a sale. So this is like an example of a second LinkedIn, or sorry, just Apollo scrape, something that we use. And then if we go back to our thing, our sheet, yeah, optional but recommended. This is the exact scenario that I just showed you. And then personalize our body type with LinkedIn about section data. So that is the exact flow boys and girls. And that's all the software we use. That's everything we do. That's really our entire cold email process, full transparency, not hiding anything. That is our cold email process. That's what we use. And it's working very good for now. If it stops working and Mergo crashes and it's terrible, I'll post an update on LinkedIn or YouTube because I want to, if anyone does implement this, I also want to give them a heads up on that and just share what we're doing and what's working and what's not. So Something I'll leave you with is we sent 300 emails and booked four meetings with this system. So you can absolutely implement this in your business. It will take about two hours to do, or maybe less if you're a little bit techy, and you can just bang out cold emails of a very high quality. So with that being said, guys, thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate you. And if you have any video suggestions, anything you want me to cover, leave it in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.